Over the years, Princess Catherine has also borrowed a number of pieces from Queen Elizabeth II's jewellery vault, including the monarch's silver jubilee earrings, which the then the Princess of Wales wore in 2018. The Princess of Wales is known to choose meaningful jewellery for high-profile events, including many that belonged to Queen Elizabeth. Since Queen Elizabeth's death in September 2022, the princess has worn a series of poignant pieces that belonged to Her Majesty, including for King Charles III's coronation on the 6th of May. While the late Queen Elizabeth II's jewellery collection is the most impressive in the world, with everything from glittering tiaras to diamond-encrusted diadems, strings of pearls and more at her disposal. One of the rarest pieces in the Crown Jewels collection of 23,578 gemstones is the George IV State Diadem, officially known as the Diamond Diadem. The silver and gold-lined diadem features a narrow band edged with pearls, surmounted by four crosses patty, and four sprays representing the national emblems of England, Ireland, and Scotland, roses, shamrocks, and thistles. Set with 1,333 diamonds, including a four-carat pale yellow brilliant in the center of the front cross, it's typically worn over a velvet cap, though Elizabeth II preferred to wear it by itself. According to a source, Princess Catherine will inherit Queen Elizabeth II's rarest £800,000 state diadem. The diamond diadem is one of the Queen's most recognizable crowns. It's present on British and Commonwealth coinage, postal stamps, and banknotes, though it rarely makes an appearance in public. The Queen has worn the diadem several times during her reign, namely to the first state opening of Parliament of her reign in 1952, and on the journey to her coronation in 1953. George IV commissioned Rundell and Bridge to make the piece in 1820 for £8,216. It's estimated to be worth nearly £800,000 today and is one of the most symbolic crowns in the royal collection. The glittering diamond encrusted piece is unlikely to make a public appearance anytime soon. The Royal Collection Trust states the diadem has only been worn by four queens since the 19th century, Queen Victoria, Alexandra, Mary and Elizabeth II. A typically more feminine piece, King Charles's wife, Queen Consort Camilla, is likely to be the next to wear the statement crown, rather than the monarch himself. But, if Prince William takes the throne in the future, Kate Middleton will have access to the jewels. The Princess of Wales will then share the privilege to wear the prized jewels. Many items the Queen has worn were part of her private collection. This included the pearl earrings she wore during most engagements and many of her brooches. Some the third and Queen Camilla, a hugely historic event. So it's no wonder the royal chose to touchingly honour both the late Queen Elizabeth II and Princess Diana with her choice of jewellery. After much speculation about what would top the Princess of Wales's head during King Charles III's coronation, Princess Kate showed up at Westminster Abbey this morning wearing a glittering silver laurel headpiece that looks a lot like a tiara. Besides, to pay tribute to the two royal women who came before her, the Princess of Wales wore the late Queen's George VI festoon necklace, 
three tiers of stunning diamonds that was originally created in 1950 as a gift from King George VI to his daughter, then Princess Elizabeth before being crowned Queen Elizabeth II in 1953.